Kerrigan. I'm the country manager for Leica Geo Systems. Um, and Leica Geo Systems are manufacturing, uh, manufacturers of surveying equipment, engineering equipment for positioning, and um, so we have hardware, software, and services for all your sort of positioning needs for land surveyors, civil engineers, anything like that, any big projects like that. Um, I'm going to start off just talking about an allegiance we have with Autodesk. We've seen uh, Diatech here talking about Autodesk and basically our hardware and also other software products work in line with Autodesk. With Autodesk. So we have, um, again, our industry-leading measurement technologies with their industry-leading CAD and BIM technologies and working together to come up with solutions for the marketplace. So. It's all about trying to choose the right technology for, for the job that you want and down to potentially using a, a laser distance meter if all you want is to know the distance between that wall all the way up to um, mobile mapping solutions like some like the backpack here. So today I'm going to briefly talk about some of these. We've got GPS, total stations, laser scanners, mobile mapping solutions, UAVs and machine control. Again, we've just released a new GPS system that is now state-of-the-art. We're getting, like everyone here, has mobile phones, has everything else connected up and um, picking up locations. We've got a solution here that will actually get you accurate uh, positional data using um, our GPS and sort of correctionals from the Ordnance Survey down to millimeter accuracy. So you're getting millimeter accuracy using our GPS technology. Also, because there's a lot more satellite systems there, we can actually work in a lot harsher environments. So in the past, you would have had to have lots of open sky to actually get these corrections. But nowadays, because we're getting so many corrections from so many different satellite systems, we're able to work very close to tree edges and under bridges, etc. We are also leading uh, manufacturers of total stations and multi-stations. So anyone out there who's seen any surveying companies, if you see the guys at the edge of the road looking down and you see a guy with a pole, um, I'm hoping he's using one of our, our instruments here, so one of the green and white ones. Um, but one of the, the biggest problems you have when you're using these equipment is the, the instrument is looking at a prism. And on this you'll see here, we have an instrument tracking a prism. And, and what happens is, when you're working, you go behind the vehicle or go behind the tree, you actually lose the prism. And what happens is it takes a long time to re-engage that in the path. But we have technology now where the instrument, when it loses the prism, it goes into a search pattern and can very, very quickly pick up the prism again. Which means that the guys who are on site, the surveyors, the engineers, are able to work a lot quicker, more quickly, more efficiently. This is another um, app, we were thinking about apps earlier on. On our, on our uh, instruments we have apps as well, and this is an expect services app. So, for instance, we have um, a design of a concrete floor in here, and we want to understand the flatness of that floor, we want to understand if there's any deviations in it. With our instrumentation we're able to set the instrument up, do a quick scan of the floor, and live in the field create a report create a heat map so live we can say there is an issue in that floor over there go and amend it straight away before we, before we leave site and it, it becomes a more costly operation and um, again we have a software house in Spain that we ask our customers come to us with ideas we'll go to them we'll say is it possible to do this if it is they'll create these apps and this one inspect services is one of those apps that we create we're also a leader in what we call HDS, High Definition Scanning, and actually a customer of ours was actually out here at Grass Tech, and, and they use this for taking rapid, rapid um, amounts of uh, uh, sort of survey grade detail. Um, so this instrument can take a million points a second. So basically you set it up, you level it up, you turn it on, you hit go, it'll spin 360 degrees, and pick up a full density point cloud and can work out to 270 meters and it is doing it at a million points a second. So recently BAM actually bought one off us there at the start of the year and within, I was talking to the, the BIM manager Paul, he said within the first two months it had paid for itself because they were able to find in areas where without using this technology it would have cost them so much money on refits and this was able to validate the jobs and also 
they were getting subcontractors to do work, but the subcontractors were telling them that they were, they were doing the work, and they were able to go in, they didn't tell the contractors that they had an instrument like this, they were able to go in, do a scan, and very, very quickly check and validate the work, and were able to go back to the guys and say, no, it wasn't up to the scratch, it wasn't there. So, uh, BAM, again, said in weeks they were able to get a return on this instrument. It has high, def uh, high dynamic range imaging as well in the system. Again, it's extremely durable, and the data that you get for this, for people who are using CAD packages for modeling purposes, it's, it's, the, it's the world's best data quality from this system. Again, this is sort of another return, like an intensity value. So it sends out a laser, and what you're seeing here is different intensity values that it's going to get back into the system. It gets a return back. And this is just showing that 250 meters away, we're still able to get workable data. The good thing about our system as well, it's so durable. We sell a lot of these up in, the, in Scandinavia and, and areas like that where no other manufacturer can sell the systems simply because we can work down to the minus 20, 30 degree range. But having the hardware is one thing, but actually being able to bring it in and actually work with, it, work with the data is another thing. And we have uh, platforms called Jetstream and it allows us because you collect so much data, it's very hard sometimes to work with it if you don't have the right software solution behind it. And Jetstream enables us to do that. It's real-time, full density rendering. It allows us to actually see the data on the screen and not have to continuously load up. And with this, we actually uh, can use this Jetstream into other software packages. So we work with, as I said earlier on, very closely with Autodesk, but we've got Bentley there. And in the past, you used to have these different silos where the survey data used to go and sit on that desktop. But now what we can do is we can have a main server where all the point cloud data sits, and then that is delivered out to every single software after that. So you don't have to have these masses of data on hard drives being sent around offices. You have it all based on the server, and the software access the server for the data. Then we move on to mobile data. We're talking about capturing realities and lots of people talk about smart cities and different things like that today. And smart city is fine, but how do you actually have all the details to, to pick up the information that's out there? Well, that's where we come in. We have a system like this. It's called the Pegasus 2. It's a, a, a vehicle mounted laser scanning system, but it also has eight cameras on it. It's GPS. It's got an IMU system in it. And basically, what it does is you mount it onto the car and you can drive around at, at legal road speeds and it will pick up, pick up all the data that you're looking for here. So here it is, I believe this is in Vegas a couple of years ago. You can see all the cameras. You can set it to take pictures every two seconds or every five meters or whatever you require for your job. It's fantastic for doing big uh, sort of asset collection jobs around cities. This was implemented on a recent project for doing all the lampposts around London. They just drive around London. Afterwards, they go in and they go into the data like this and they can go and then take out what they need out of this data. So you can see all the facades, all the road surveys, everything there, full data set. No need for traffic management, no need for anything like that. All the data is collected uh, with this system. The one thing about this is you have large data sets. So this is where IT comes into it and it's important to have um, good IT and have professionals working with this data. But we can also plug in other sensors into this. So um, for instance, ground penetrating radar, if you want to actually see what's above the ground and also what's beneath the ground, we've got a system called Stream. We can put pollution sensors, thermal sensors onto this as well. So again, it's a platform for putting other sensors onto this system. Here it is with the ground penetrating radar. So again, we had a presentation here earlier on when you're talking about in London doing ground penetration radar, find out what was under a road in London. I went up to the guy afterwards and said, you need to come and talk to me because I've got a solution that can absolutely do that. And this is a very interesting one, especially because we're here, we're talking about BIM, um, and we're talking about validation. This system here is a wearable system. So it's about 12 kgs. It has five cameras, two laser scanners like I spoke about earlier on, delivering 600,000 points per second. It's got GPS, so it works outside, obviously taking in the GPS, but it uses a technology called SLAM when it's inside. So it's basically taking a, a, an image of itself and comparing it to another image of itself and building up a 3D model. And uh, 
there's a similar, there's similar projects actually out there. Leveling Equipment Services are a, de a dealer, a uh, distribution partner of mine. They're out here. They've got a similar product on their stand uh, using the same technology. So we have also UAV department. Actually, another, I have a dual role in Leica Geosystems. I'm the country manager for, for Ireland for, for Leica Geosystems, but I also look after our UAV division for the UK and Ireland. And again, this is an, again a platform for a sensor. We have a camera on it here, but we could put a LiDAR system onto it, infrared, uh, hyperspectral, thermal imaging, whatever kind of sensor you want to put onto this. And I was at a pro I was working with uh, our guys in Germany at a, at a conference there recently in Germany, and they had a they had a, an RFID tag reader on this, and they're using this unit to do inventory stock stock counting. Basically, going around a warehouse. There's RFID tags on all the stock, and they use a system here with an RFID tag reader to count all the stock. So it meant no one's going up on a ladder trying to count how many pieces are in a box. Quick image video of it. This is the software. So basically, you can plan out where you want to go. You tell the instrument what camera you're using, what kind of resolution you want. You send that via Wi-Fi to the system, and it goes out and it automatically does the fly path. This is actually our center um, for a training center over in the UK that we've just set up and we'll be using this, these fields here for doing any training on this system. Again, looking at the, the DEMs and seeing what, sort of what uh, information you want to get out of this system. We also have a handheld system for picking up asset collection. I'm going to have to fly through this here because I've only got a couple of minutes. But monitoring is another big thing. So risk in construction Risk mitigation is, is so important. And, and in the UK, um, with Crossrail, we worked very, heavy, very closely with the guys doing Crossrail. And we had about 600 total stations continuously monitoring um, the, the whole of London, ensuring that there was no movement when they were doing all the drilling. And, and we see this as a massive part of, our, part of our business going forward. This is actually a rig that was on the shards. So when the shard was going up and they were doing the concrete pouring, they had this rig that went up to the center of it, and we put four of these on each corner to ensure that the rig wasn't moving um, uh, going up, and it was all an automated system. There was a total station. Each prism is getting uh, positioned using the GPS. There's a total station that goes and accurately then positions itself using the prism and makes sure that, that the, the rig stays stable going up to the top of the shard. Again, using the software, and the software you can get on any platform, so if there's alerts and alarms, or if anything did happen, you, could get a, you will get a, a text message or, or anything to alert you that there's something happening with your monitoring system. Again, we have ICON solutions. So this is going into on the sites, the construction sites, working with GPS total stations for positioning uh, big plant, positioning graders, dozers, or just using the setting out tool. So here we have the ICON intelligent construction total stations. There's one out on the stand here on level equipment stands, and really, putting in BIM models into the, into the controllers for these for setting out BIM models on site. Again, working with graders here, you can see the, the stuff inside. A very quick one about a project. We worked very closely on this project here with Balfour Beatties. It was a 55 kilometer uh, project up in Aberdeen and it's all done using machine control. There's now 120 machines on this site using machine controls and there's no one out there on the road, actually setting out pins or, or none of that. It's all done via machine control. Um, and we have, we've also put in like base stations with, with feeding more information into the ordnance survey grid um, to ensure that this is, this is done as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Again, just a sort of another, another uh, quick image here of how we have uh, base stations on site and we're sending the information via, via um, the internet. Every one of these has uh, SIM cards in it and is receiving all the digital information all the time. And that's, a, that's a look at just a smart net. There's en AD engineers and 10 surveyors trained using the, using the machine control there. Smart net upgrade. So that's pretty much me finished. We just, the last one there, this is a video of just I know it's going to run out now and, and it goes on for a minute or so, but basically this is all of our technologies used. Um, to, this is our head office in Milton Keynes and we did a project there recently. We called it Project Star Wars. Uh, reason being it had to be finished on May the 4th. 
So, uh, and it's finished now. We have a full data set there um, of this whole site, but using every one of our uh, pieces of technology to create this data set. So, I'll leave it there. Thanks a million. Any questions, give us a shout. Thank <laughs> you.